and there was one last thing that you didn't actually do on your checklist, which I'll just tell you. You want your clearance? Draft 44. You, you should fix that checklist. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. All right, let's go up and see if we can take off. Auto Tower, this is X-Ray Alpha Mike, holding short of runway 22 on taxiway Tango, ready for takeoff. Thanks, Alpha Mike, right-hand circuit, stay north, the departure path at 25, at all times, you're clear for takeoff, runway 22, traffic's a mile and a half, final. X-Ray Alpha Mike. That pretty much just means don't daddle. Sure, Tango, it means Mike, what? Right that down, means two, don't two, daddle. Two, Mile and a half three, final, four, someone's four, coming in to four. land. Okay, so, so it's kind of like a... Yeah, don't rush, but also don't take extra time. Right. All right, so I'll just keep on rolling here. I'm going to do three checks along the way. All right, and if the engine fails, we'll stop. And I, I was going to do my safety briefing, but I won't do it right now. Landing in the field across the way, windsocks last thing, full power. And checking three things right here. I have, I'm looking for full power, which I seem to have. I'm looking for my green gauges. And then I'm going to see that airspeed is alive. And we're going to rotate at 60. Wait, there's the windsock, all good, ready to rotate. Whiskey Zero November, clear touch and go, runway 2 Whiskey Zero one November. Our climb out at 70. Next off the mic, clear touch and go, runway 2 2. was me. Uh, X ray off the mic. I've done 10 degrees of flaps. That was a nice turn. Wasn't bad for me. We're only at 10 degrees. Uh, you like 10 degrees? I like what you like. I like what I like. Oh, let's try that because I have not done that before. I've got my airspeed. Um, a lot of forward pressure though. And gentle full power. Just get a little bit of fun and do repeat. Our center. 60 rotate right now. Whiskey zone, remember, clear touch and go to do. Whiskey zone. Alright. Good. You just, flare, you just started your flare maybe two feet high. That's it. Two feet high, yeah. and then you had to wait for a long time, and you got kind of excited towards the end, and just pitched up slightly too much. Yeah, that's okay. all. You, uh, go ahead. Uh, I was just gonna say you uh, you came in just a little bit high. You could have brought your power back a little bit sooner. Yeah, because you like you waited till you were pretty much over the runway, but you you made it by that point, right? Yeah. You were coming in nice and high. It looked really really good. Just power back as soon as you can basically gl glide to that runway. I think the, the bump kind of scared you and you added a little bit of power there too. Yeah. They're holding our altitude to this time. Carpet's on and I'll make my call to tower. Pushing it out a little bit left. Ottawa Tower, this is X-Ray Alpha Mike on downwind for runway 2-2 looking for touch and go. Next Alpha Mike, number two, following system traffic on a half mile final. Entry Alpha Mike, we have traffic inside. Fox X for Lima, the traffic ahead is not remaining in the circuit. You're clear touch and go, runway 2-2. Oh wait, we've crossed him there. Clear touch and go, runway 2-2, Fox X for Lima. And... I am at 1700 RPMs. it into the uh, white arc here. I'm gonna drop. And I'd also like to point out that this altitude is working today, again because we have a strong headwind. But if you were coming in and you had no headwind, coming in at this height, you'd have uh, trouble no, getting down tango to your runway. Uh, we're gonna make it a full stop this time. We're on right down wind for 2 2. Fox Tango Mike, check the full stop. Your number uh, 3 following Cessna traffic in the right base. 
Roger, I have traffic in sight. X Alpha Mike, clear touch and go runway 2 2. X Ray Alpha Mike. Alpha Mike, you made your runway here, right? I have made my runway. So just start bringing your power back. Because otherwise you're going to come in way too high. Right, get that power right idle, because you're, you're going to glide, right? Keep your nose pointed down. We're doing a touch and go. We want to land kind of at the beginning of the runway. Yeah. See, you're coming along quite nicely. Oh. And flare? A little bit? Yeah. Oh, this is nice. Nice and gently on the flare. Nice and gently. There you go. Okay. Flaps are coming up. One, two, three, four, five. And power. Curb heat. And... Don't hold it up. Just start pulling it back. The plane will take off when it's ready to go. So this shouldn't be a kind of a pull back. It should just be a gentle. gentle. And then the, the plane will go. Then we'll be ready when able. Can a four four five. Air can a four four five. Departure airborne on one two additional one seven. What would you do if that guy didn't five, move? Uh, traffic, Overshoot. Uh, company five miles final runway three two. Maybe talk to tower first. Be like, hey tower, what's going on here? Yeah. Victor Oscar, turn uh, right on Victor Oscar, right to Bell's corner. Go, CVO. Bell's corner. 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 Auto Tower, this is X-Ray Alpha Mike, and we are downwind of runway 22, looking for a touch and go. X-Ray Alpha Mike, uh, number 2, Boeing Cessna 150, short final. We have traffic in sight, X-Ray Alpha Mike. Well, I bring my power back now, because we're going to drift, and by the time I'm... Auto Tower, this is X-Ray Alpha Mike, uh, downwind of runway 22, and we're looking for a full stop. X-Ray Alpha Mike, number 1, runway 2. X-Ray Alpha Mike. That's the extra little pull-up yeah. that you don't need to do. Oh, the last one was nice and soft. All right. Look how far back I am. No wonder it's easy to drop a mic. Exit right on mic and ground one to one decimal nine. X ray up a mic. And you don't even need to like slam the brakes on. Break on that was, that's incredible. I've never been at all of this runway to play with. <laughs> Um, with, the, with the headwind and flaps, you go quite slowly, like your ground speed is very slow when you come in, right? I was like stopped and twice I heard the stall horn, yep. which is... And that's okay as long as you're like right next to the ground. Yes. If you're, if you're 10 feet up, that's not, that's that's awkward. not okay. <laughs>